Hi, welcome to the Teacher's Playbook. My name is Melanie and I am a fifth grade teacher. I've been a teacher for more than 20 years and today I wanna to talk to you about field trips. Now being a teacher for 20 years means that I've seen the educational pendulum swing back and forth a couple of times now. I've seen the heyday of field trips and then the market crashed and one of the first things to get cut were field trips. And then the pressure that came with standardized testing um, meant that a lot of people felt kids couldn't afford to spend a day away from the classroom and therefore field trips were not important. But now I'm here to tell you why you should argue with your admin that field trips are awesome. Field trips are the epitome of teaching the whole child and I wanna to explain to you why. Number one, the first reason, is that a field trip is the best way to get the content that you're required to teach in class into long-term memory. Because let's face it, experiencing these things is a great way for kids to learn. A field trip can deepen and enhance their knowledge that they've learned in class. So building on that prior knowledge through a field trip is a great way for kids to remember the concepts that you've taught in class. Field trips can increase the positive feeling that students have about a certain topic. And one thing I love about field trips is it definitely enhances the historical empathy that kids have for people of long ago. And this is important in life, not just in school, because uh, there's tons of research about field trips. Um, I found a lot, an article going back to 1999 I think it was um, the American Science Teachers Association talked about how field trips, kids that had been on field trips were more tolerant of each other and had a better understanding of society. For example, where I live, settlers came in the early 1700s. We're fortunate enough that we can go to museums and see artifacts that connect life in the past to life today. Uh, one minor example, but it's always impactful on the students, is that in one room of the museum they have a bed set up and the mattress is slit open at a certain point and you can see what's inside. And so there's this black crinkly stuff inside the mattress and the guide explains that that's Spanish moss. Well, Spanish moss is something we see every day draped on the trees where we live and the kids are then able to connect, oh, I see that every day. These people of the past used it as a resource to help them have a better, more comfortable life. And it's just a great way to pull life from the past to life today and pull it all together for kids. That increasing historical empathy is a really important thing for kids to understand. They need to understand what life was like back in other times so that they can appreciate what they have today. I don't care where you live, they, there's always something you can do for a field trip because, I say I don't care where you live, because every area has a history and you can always study the history of the area where you live. Now, you might not be able to go to a museum, but there's got to be a way you can study the history of where you live. Now, if there's a history, there's also science because science is part of everyday life as well. And so let's say maybe your social studies or history teacher is really into going on this trip, but the science teacher or math teacher are a little reserved about taking the time away from class. Well, you can always pull all subjects in through the history of your area. For example, um, soon we will be taking a day trip to a replica of a ship that was built in the early 1800. The ship is what brings science into the picture. So we've got the building of the ship, we've got the tools that they used on the ship, we've got how did they navigate to find their way, so the astronomy. There's all kinds of science that you can bring into the historical elements of people of the past. So while field trips are able to um, deepen and enhance your content knowledge, they're also part of teaching the whole child is also the socialization that comes through a field trip. 
Whether your trip is a day trip or an overnight trip, kids are given lots of opportunities to learn a lot about their peers on these trips. They are given opportunities to practice their manners. Maybe you go out to an ice cream parlor or you go to a restaurant and they have to order, they have to, are they using their own money? Um, I know in a lot of special ed classes even that go on field trips, they are able to practice these skills in a real life setting. I mean, really, how do we expect them to get good at it if we never give them a chance to practice? On overnight trips, the kids are able to learn, like, we all have to brush our teeth. We all need to wear deodorant. You know, these types of, they just learn the little quirks of their friends and therefore they become more tolerant of each other. We had a great conversation on a trail in the woods not too long ago where um, one boy said, one boy who, how shall I say, um, is a little less mature and therefore gets really excited. Um, he was walking along and to one of his friends, he said, I don't think you like me anymore. And the other boy said, oh, you know, something like, oh, yes, I do, or something like that. And I said, you know what? I said to the overexcited child, I said, you guys are almost middle schoolers. And it's very common for a middle schooler to not want a lot of attention drawn to them. And I think when you get overexcited, you draw a lot of attention to you and everybody who's around you. And I think he's still your friend, but he wishes you weren't so excitable all the time. And the second little boy said, that's exactly what I wish. That conversation could have happened at school. It might have happened in a counselor's office. I don't know. But when it just sort of, it was one of those learning moments when it just kind of came up and we were, like I said, walking on a trail through the woods. No one was defensive. You know, there was no arguing. I think the point got across and it was a valuable lesson learned right there on the field trip. And that's an example of the whole child because that's not just let's learn about history or let's learn about science, but that's I'm learning a lot about myself and my peers as well. Field trips are so valuable. And if you're going to try to convince your admin to let you go, you can always say not every school takes a field trip and that a field trip is something that makes our school special because not everyone will offer that. Good luck getting an awesome field trip planned for your class. I know I love our field trips and I hope you get to too. See you later, bye.